And let's bring in Dave Walker now. Once again, he's the retired homicide sergeant for the Tulsa, Oklahoma Police Department with more than three decades of experience. Dave, thanks for hopping on with me once again this week. Uh, as Nancy just laid out, tomorrow marks two weeks since they've gone missing. Still not a lot of information to go off of. So where do you think investigators are in their search today? I guess still think they're, they're probably pretty close by the, the lack of information they're giving. Uh, the type of information that was given w was kind of impressive down into uh, even the shoe descriptions. Uh, I don't think I would have given that much uh, of a description uh, because then what happens is when somebody calls in with a, a tip, uh, if we didn't give every piece of information, we'd be able to determine if that tip is valid or not and mm -hmm. whether to spend the time on it. Mm -hmm. Authorities, as you know, they've confirmed foul play is suspected just based on undisclosed evidence that they found in that abandoned car. But what should we make of the fact that there are no visible signs of an active large scale search? I mean, no grid searches, canine units, police command center. I think by the, the lack of, of a search in that area, and you see a lot of private citizens, as you call them, uh, computer sleuths or whatever you want to call them, uh, law enforcement doesn't mind that they're out there. That means that that's not where the crime scene is. Mm. Uh, they may not know where the crime scene is, but they, I think they've pretty much determined it's not there. So as long as the private citizens are, are mucking around somewhere else, then they're not going to be... Uh, tying the hands of law enforcement uh, unnecessarily. And Dave, you worked in this area for decades. I know you're hearing rumors uh, of a hog farm that's close by that, that could be involved here. What are you hearing about that and how would that be involved? Well, I, I think anytime you got a hog farm there and the criminal element knows that hogs eat just about anything, we've had uh, investigations, two of them that I know of, that, that concerned hogs and the suspicion that they were fed to the hogs. Um, if that's the case, then we're looking for clothing. And because hogs will not digest the clothing, they'll, they'll obviously digest food and a human would be food. But yeah. uh, then where is the clothing that they were wearing? Yeah. Uh, chilling to think about. So also, since we last spoke a couple days ago, it's now been confirmed that the FBI has been involved in the case from the get-go. Uh, the feds asked to assist while the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation remains the lead. What services can the FBI provide in a case like this? Well, I know the OSBI has, has a great lab there in Edmond, mm -hmm. Oklahoma. Uh, the FBI does uh, have a lot of resources that, you know, they can throw at a, an issue. Uh, as long as the OSBI is in control of what's happening and, and the communication's good, uh, the more eyes looking at this, the better. And that's why I'm kind of confused by the lack of uh, media being uh, brought in, but, but I'm sure law enforcement uh, has a reason for that. Do you think that's a mistake? Do you think we'd be farther along if the media were given more information to disseminate out farther and more yeah. widespread? It, 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 yes and no, uh, but I, I think I would this far out absolutely call in everybody that you can. Uh, like I said, then it would come down to determining what tips you get, uh, who's carrying the phone um, 24 hours a day, that thing needs to be answered. And it needs to be answered by somebody in the know. Uh, that's why you, your groups have to be, your, your detectives need to be working the obvious. And then now, this far out, uh, the not so obvious. I know all of us curious as to what they have that they're not releasing. I'm, I know that they're probably focusing on that bitter custody battle that seems to be at, at the center of this, too. Um, so hopefully new answers this weekend as it now marks two weeks. Uh, Sergeant Dave Walker, thanks again for coming back on. Do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.